قل ايو شعين اكبر الشهادة ask them who is highest in witnessing and testifying whose testimony is highest and most important and supreme قل الله tell them Allah Allah's testimony is the highest the supreme Shahidun baini wa bainakum and he is a witness between you and me that I am his messenger he testifies to it wa uhiya ilayya hadha alquran very important aya and this quran has been revealed to me uhiya ilayya hadha alquran li unzirakum bihi wa man bala so that i should warn you with it bihi is very important here the emphasis it you have to warn through quran give the glad tidings through quran call the people towards allah through quran remind them of allah through quran fadakkir bil quran man yakhafu wa'id wala fa inna ma yassarnahu bi lisanika li tubashshira bihi al muttaqin wa tunzira bihi qauman ludda if we are saying sermons spread over hours but we are not quoting quran we are not narrating quran we are not reciting quran this is not the way that the prophet used to preach or the prophet used to call people through quran tabshir bil quran glad tidings with quran you read out the ayat of quran and there are the glad tidings for the people who take to the right path you read out and recite unto people the ayat of quran it contains all the warning You recite these ayat and contain all the wisdom, and they are each word of it is an ayah. It is a sign of Allah's knowledge, a sign of Allah's wisdom. So, dawa, real dawa in Islam is the only one, the vehicle of which, and the instrument of which is Quran and Quran only, not the stories. fables in which there is you know so much thing you the exaggerations without any authority weak ahadees unauthentic ahadees and riwayat saying sermons through them actually is deviating from the path of the muhammad of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam le unzira kum bihi This Quran has been revealed to me that I should warn you with this. And whomsoever it reaches, whomsoever Quran reaches, actually the message of the prophethood of Muhammad has reached him. He is not preaching now himself. But this all preaching that any servant of Allah is doing is on his behalf. and to whomsoever this quran has been conveyed the message of the messenger hood of muhammad has been conveyed sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is as if by proxy and it was it was happening even in the days of the of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself when abu bakr he you know believed now he went out to preach and convey the message to others Now you know six of the ten of the topmost Sahaba, Ashara Mubashara, to them Islam was conveyed by Abu Bakr, and they embraced Islam at the dawa and at the persuasion of Abu Bakr. Usman to start with, Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, Sayyid ibn Zaid, Talha, Zubair. the people they were belong, they were belonging to the most respectable houses of quraish and because abu bakr was also one of the most respected persons he held a position in the hierarchy of quraish so he could convey the message to those people qul ayyu shay'in akbar shahada qul illa shahidu bani wa bainakum wa uhiya ila hadhal quran li unzirakum bihi wa man balagh ainakum la tashhadun anna ma allah alayatan ukhra do you really testify that there are other gods besides allah 
Now this, you know, as I used the words before, a searching question with penetrating eyes. Do you really? Because from the depths of the heart, they didn't believe it. The manifestation was, it will come later. Whenever there was some calamity, whenever their lives were in danger, they always called Allah. Never called Laat or Guzna or Manat or Hobal. What does it mean? In the depths of their hearts, they actually believed that if anyone can remove this calamity from us, he say only Allah. Not Laat, not Uzza, not Manat, not Hobal, nothing of this heart. So penetrating, seeing them into their eyes. Do you really believe? Do you really testify? That besides Allah, there are other gods. Proclaim, O Muhammad, I can't testify. Even, you know, if you take the courage of saying what your hearts are not saying, but you are saying, I will not say it. Proclaim that he is the only one God. And I declare and proclaim my disapproval of the association that you are making with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The shirk that we are making. Allazeen atayna hum al-kitab ya'arifuna hum kama ya'arifuna abna hum. The people to whom we gave the book they recognize Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as they recognize their sons. This testimony has appeared in the Quran many a times. Even in Surah Al-Baqarah, beginning of the second part. Ya'arifuna hu kama ya'arifuna abna hu. Ya'arifuna annahu al-haqqo min rabbihim. They know it. But they won't accept. Alladheena atayna hu al-kitaba ya'arifuna hu kama ya'arifuna abna hu. But those who have decided to destroy their own selves, they have determined to go to hell. Well, they are not going to. They are not going to believe in him. And who can be more wrong, wrongdoer, evil doer, transgressor than a person who forges a lie against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or he belies the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his revelations. Now there are two things. They are equally bad. Equally evil. If someone is not the messenger of Allah, and he says, I am the messenger of Allah. Can there be something more outrageous than this? On the other side, if someone is the messenger of Allah, you are accepting him, not accepting him. These are equal crimes. Who attributes to Allah a lie. He has not chosen him as a messenger. But he says, I am the messenger. If he is coming to me. On the other hand, When the real signs are coming and they are belying it. So they are two equal crimes. Such transgressors and evil doers will not prosper. 